If you guys want to say it's my fault, it's none of you guys are trying to help me, but then you guys have the audacity to say everything is my fault. I still have to do. Being on time is your fault. There is no excuse. Whatever, whatever. I told Thomas, pay the child support and run, run for the hills. There's no money that is worth dealing with this every day, and I will tell him that when I am standing up there watching her walk down the aisle. Last chance, run like hell. You are disrespectful. Well, just, I, let me have, let me just, finish disrespecting. Oh I won't have dinner. Oh I won't have dinner. Oh I don't not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat. I'm not having dinner. Your brother, like every other day, will bring me out to eat and get something to eat. But first, Thomas would like for Janine to swallow her pride and offer his family a little something called common courtesy. I would not be who I am if I waited for people. I understand, people babe, around but me, the, way, the, the people way around share, me, the me, people listen around me, me, listen to me for the a second. people around me, if I the feel like The people around you are not going to be around you if you don't stop for a second. Oh, piss me the f off. After mulling Thomas's fair point for a few minutes, Janine stalks Thomas outside to throw down the final gauntlet. If you stay here, then we're not getting married tomorrow. I'm walking to the car, so you got about three seconds to follow. I don't know what Thomas's deal is, but I gave him an ultimatum to either choose me or them because he's creating a new family as of tomorrow. So he either stands behind us or he stands behind them. It's We're a wedding. It's a wedding. It's so a wedding for the rest coming? of our life. What, Thomas? He better get on board because if not, we're gonna have problems. I'm not gonna have this, son. Don't. You can, you can don't, walk. Don't, don't. You're not gonna have it. That means you're not gonna have me. 